Howdy, howdy, fellow YouTubers. Mrs. Z Bunch Numbers here. I want to do a follow up video to my uh, Mix G Dumpin' Finds video. Um, I've obviously done a little bit more hunting since then and picked up a few more cars that you see in front of you. Um, I've been having a lot of good luck lately finding errors of pretty much all kinds and sorts and variations. So, um, really, I'm just really happy right now and, uh, Everything's kind of going smooth. Got a lot of work ahead of me this upcoming week. Got another 60 something hour week of work ahead. So that'll be fun. But uh, yeah, I probably won't be doing much hunting this week from work. Um, so yeah, this will be probably my last video for, I don't know, a week or so. But uh, yeah, I do apologize for not getting a lot of videos out and not doing a whole lot of responding. Um, Definitely doing a lot more working than I'm accustomed to doing, so a little bit tired and eh, just work catches up with you when you work in a lot of the hours. So anyways, enough of my babbling about working, back to the Hot Wheels. Um, after my G-Case find, that was probably about a week or so ago now, I found a couple more errors from different assortments and at different Highlander stores and I'm going to go ahead and show you what I've picked up over the last week I'd say so anyways in a dump in that was closer to my house that was a G-Case dump in they, um, I went through it a couple times and the first time I went through it didn't find a whole lot I found another one of the uh, 59 Chevy Impala reversed windows and that was in the dump in closest to my house. So I found the one that was the one that had the supers in it. And then I found the one by my house. So I have two of these with the reversed windows. And then I also found in the same dump in was the reversed window Impala. The uh, Scuba de Fuego. Scoop de Fuego. I found two of them missing the side tampos. These are the only two that were that way. The rest of them had the tampos. Um, one of them on a creased card um, due to all the shuffling around in those dirty old bins of death. So I had two Scoopies. And then I also found, let's see what else do I want to show. Got this 64 Buick Riviera, the regular version. And then this one, the axle wasn't installed in the correct place. So it's, it's really far back in the wheel wells. Not very functional. Found this at a uh, Highlander store in my area, which is a Schnucks affiliate. So found that. Then I also found the Swamp Buggy with a shifted chassis in the back. It was off-center, so the whole thing's just kind of askew and messed up. I apologize. There's not a lot of light right here. I should probably turn my light on. But uh, anyway, so yeah, this one's really askew. And then I got another one. This uh, twin middle two with the kind of <laughs> laughing face look to it. And the reason why it's kind of got that funky looking face, because this one too is shifted. And this one is kind of shifted off to the uh, left side. And it causes it to kind of have that like grr face on it instead of a flush piece where it comes to a point. So I thought that was kind of interesting. The laughing face twin middle. <laughs> And then another goofy error is what I'm going to call the High Raker's Bone Shaker. As you can see, there's quite a bit of rake from the front to the back. And the reason that is that the tab for the rear end was not placed inside the body. So when it got riveted down, it gives it a lot more rake, which I honestly think makes it look kind of cool. I don't know about y'all, but I kind of like that. And then a more simple, um, I think this one's actually a variation is the uh, then and now Camaro, it's the 10 Camaro SS with the skinny rear wheels and you can tell because you can see that huge gap on the uh, left rear is there because the wheel is not the wide version that typically comes on this car so kind of a funky look to it but uh, this is a little bit of a harder to find variation for that then I also found the Ferrari 458 Challenge all large wheel error really like this one very very cool car very cool designs everything and then to find an all large wheel yeah and then I also found another all large wheel on the 64 Chevy Nova station wagon oh yeah I've looked at every single one of these that I have 
found and double and triple checked it for errors and this one happened to jump out of me at a grocery store it's on an international card and not a US card and then I found yet another of these Copo Torinos with the Copo Camaro interior with grill insert all one piece and I've been finding these at Schnucks stores they've been about one two every two sidekicks from what I've been able to tell, I found four of them, I think at six different stores, maybe seven different stores. Yeah, there's probably about seven stores that I visited that were Schnook stores. And been about one of them to a shipper and about two regular ones per shipper. So it's a one out of every three ratio for every two shippers that you see. So there's probably about five of them total. And then one out of the five ends up being with the couple grills so if you have a schnook store in your area check them for that error and then the last error that I found happened to be in the Ferrari 5 pack I've already opened it and I noticed this Ferrari FF in the bottom of the pack I don't like to buy these bottom of the pack cars that I think have errors because it's hard to tell but if you look closely something looks a little funky with that rivet well, why do you think it is? Ah, it's an unspun Ferrari FF. It's kind of a difficult spot, but the front wheel was sitting up a little, or sitting, ah, let's try this again. It was sitting a little bit high in the front, so I turned it over to kind of look, and it, from what I could see, I could see that clean metal post sticking out of the bottom, and it didn't look like all the rest of the posts that I seen and other of the same packs and so I was like well let's take a chance and lo and behold another unspun for the Z error collection and the last car that I picked up isn't really a car it is a Farbs Redline now these came out in I think 1971-1972 and it's like a, basically a character guy got miles ahead Red Ketchup, um, I think it's Sir Rodney, and I think there's, I think that's it, so it's Miles Ahead, Sir Rodney, and all that, but yeah, what a cool little guy, picked it up for 20 bucks with a couple other beaters, anyways, that's it, hope you enjoyed, peace until my next update, oh yeah.